Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about cloud costs. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, my boss is asking me, a software developer, to figure out how to reduce cloud costs. Is it is this common in other companies? Do developers normally have to figure out how to make their code or infra less costly? Depends. Do you have dedicated ops people or not? So this is one of those examples uh, where I sort of just uh, sit back and I watch other people look at me like uh, they can't possibly understand what's going on. I have this with other co I've had this with coworkers as well. When a front-end developer just uh, gets a task stating that we need you to connect to this API over here, and they go, it doesn't work. And I go, no, of course it's not going to work. You need to go and check the uh, setup of the in the infrastructure so that you know how to communicate between the way. In this case, it was Kubernetes. How the pods connect to each other. And he just looks at me like, what do you say? Well, what are you saying? Well, I'm saying that you have to either figure out yourself how to do this, or you have to see, in this case, there are, are like ops people and so forth that can help. Uh, you go and talk to them and you explain what you need in order for them to help you. And he just looked at me, but uh, I mean, I'm a front end up, and I go, yeah, but we don't have anybody else, and we need this done. Guys? Your job is to fix problems, bottom line. That is what it is about. And although you won't be able in this scenario like a software developer to be uh, to perhaps, you, I mean, it's, inf it's completely unfeasible for a software developer to know everything about everything. But that is the part about being an engineer, guys. Your job is not to learn how to use a specific piece of tooling to do an arbitrary thing. Your job is to figure out how to solve real problems. And in reality, the people who are the most equipped in many cases, so to talk about, like, say, infrastructure costs and so forth, well, you know what resources you are using. And reducing cost is actually not that complicated in comparison to how complicated it would be for, let's say, somebody else in the company to do it. And as I said, unless you have a dedicated ops person who is specialized in this sort of stuff, which very few companies have, then you are the most, like the next best thing. It's sort of like, uh, I mean, if you don't have a marketing person, then a sales person is the next, well, you know, theoretically. It's, it's the same deal, guys. And this is why I tell people who go into software development that you, you cannot have this idea that, well, my job is just about this thing over here. Your job is what, you're be, what you are asked to do. And sure, you can get asked to do something that is outside of your comfort zone, but then the expectations on you as anyone working in a company is to learn that thing. Guys, it's not. this is not just software developers. I mean, everybody does this. You know, if you go and ask someone who works in, say, a support, IT support, do you think that they know, they know the internal systems of the new company that they work in? No, they have to learn it, because otherwise we can't have them in the job. It's not possible because the company has a certain setup and not all the companies either have or can afford to buy specialists for every small little thing that you can imagine. And you co are going to see this happen more and more. It's already happening now. It's already getting to the point. And this is something that I have, I don't want to say predicted because that makes it sound like I have some type of superpower and I don't. And it's something that I think more people are realizing and that is that it is getting to the point where for you to be effective and competitive in the digital marketplace you can no longer have these cookie cutter people who just focus on one thing or one or the other and so forth and so forth who just have this very narrow perspective on how to do digi make digital solutions happen you are in greater and greater need of what I call the true seniors True senior software developers are the sort of people, like they are real engineers. They are the sort of people who can build the entire thing. They, as I like to say, they are an insurance policy. These are the people that you bring in to make sure that 
everything works. That doesn't mean that they themselves do all the work. It's imagine an architect is responsible for setting up the digital strategy, how everything's going to fit together from the business perspective. In many cases, a real senior software developer is a person who has been working so long that you know it. They can basically make the entire stack. They can build everything from. They can, they understand the infrastructure to a degree. Uh, they understand front end, back end, etc., etc. They don't have to be the best of the best of the best at all these things, but they are able to get a task such as this, like a very obscure, oh, fix the cost of this or improve the performance here and so forth, and just go and do it. Because that is at the end of the day what every customer wants. They don't want to hear it's sort of like, it's, it's in a sense, guys, it's sort of like adapters and uh, standards and so forth. When you buy a new computer or you buy like some type of electrical product you just want it to be able to fit into your socket at home so you can get it to power up you don't want to hear when you're in that state that no actually you need the specific socket and then there's like a technical specification that tells it says which types of adapters you can use and then you can only buy them in certain stores and you need all this other like that that's just extra noise because the goal for or the end desire for the customer is to just get to use the electrical appliance that they bought they don't want all this other bullshit to happen and that's why manufacturers are trying to go towards standards and it's the same thing for you it's the same thing with doctors it's the same for any everything everybody wants things to be convenient and software development is unfortunately so complicated that in many cases it's not actually it's not even a matter of convenience at this point it's a matter of that it's unsustainable for companies to hire a person for each piece of the delivery process and so you are going to see more of this i promise you and this is one of the main reasons why i argue to people that if you want a long and very lucrative and uh, and strong uh, career within software development the absolute most important thing you can have is the desire to learn more to understand more because you it's sort of like being a manufacturer of goods or so forth if you just know one part you're never gonna get the full picture of how to build the whole thing and in reality the reason why you are allowed quote unquote or why you have these specialized people is either because the problem is so complicated that it's not possible for you to 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 do it in any other way or it is because we simply don't have the the people who can do the whole thing because in the I hope that that sort of resonates with you the end goal for every anyone who's ever wanted to do anything is to just know how everything works by themselves as one individual because that's the most effective way that you could possibly do something instead of having 10 people doing one piece of the thing it's better if one person can do everything but sometimes we simply cannot do that and that is what we are seeing in IT right now where the explosion in complexity and diversity of tooling is just growing and more and more responsibilities are moved to the software developers themselves so I would not be surprised guys if you find more than a few on a few or a few occasions throughout your career yourself doing things that sort of starts bordering on uh, am I supposed to be doing this just as my coworkers who do the front-end development where if I ask you to go and figure this thing out about say Kubernetes or something that is infra related it's not because I don't want someone else to be able to do it but you are the only person around so what I want you to take away from this is that yes uh, figuring out what cost and so forth it's doing as a software it depends on the company at my last job we had exactly that we had people who were software developers who were consuming resources they had all these products running in the cloud and the, the cost was ticking away and so we had to take a look at okay how can we improve this how can we do this and guys this is exactly the sort of problem uh, problem um, solving uh, skill set that we software developers are supposed to have our job is to use code to solve problems but if you ever mistake that you are a back-end developer a front-end developer like the coding that you do for the thing that you're supposed to be good at you are making a mistake the thing that you have to be good at is to learn how technology works how things within the computer and code and all that stuff how does that work so that you can produce a result and in some cases a front-end developer will need to go and look at the documentation for Kubernetes to know how to connect to, uh, to, to call pods in between pods 
and sometimes a back-end developer will need to know how to s how to spin up a, I don't know a WordPress site or do some CSS or something like that because we can simply not sit there and wait for us to well actually I don't know exactly how this works and I'm not really supposed to do that well the product needs to be shipped now and we don't have anybody else and we could not have possibly foreseen that this was going to be an issue so can you please try to use those problem-solving skills to help the company or are you saying that we're going to have to go and go through months and months and months of hiring to get that one person who can do that thing for you? The situation is what the situation is, and sometimes you just kind of have to roll with the punches. And I can promise you guys, the clo the more we progress, the more and more we're going in the direction where the software developers are getting from being like able to focus on like a small area of the thing to sort of increasingly having to, having to know more and more and more and more stuff because the ecosystems are growing and the systems are becoming more complicated and honestly i don't see that going away anytime soon have a great day